You're watching WMAR 2 News. The Gallery Mall in downtown Baltimore could be losing many more of its businesses. Good morning, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. Brookfield Properties owns that mall right along Pratt Street there near the Inner Harbor. And the owners of many of the stores that do remain there have told WMAR 2 News that Brookfield has told them that they need to be out by the end of this year. The company has only said officially that it's exploring several options to what it calls reposition the gallery to meet the needs of the market. But the business owners again say they've been told to get out by the end of this year. No explanation what's going on, what they plan to do. I'm looking right now for another place around Baltimore or any other state. I mean, I can't be here if I don't have a place. Now, the mayor's office sent a statement to WMAR2 News saying they will work with Brookfield as they consider improvements for the Gallery Mall. The investigation will continue today into a crash in Baltimore City that caused a gas leak. The car crashed right there into an apartment building along West Fayette Street in West Baltimore last night. No one seriously injured, but some equipment appears to have been damaged, which led to that gas leak. Inspectors still working to assess the damage to that building, but the crews there at the scene last night said it was safe for people who live there to go back into their homes. And more speed cameras are coming to Baltimore County. Six new cameras near three different school zones. McDonough School in Owings Mills, Harbor School, Randallstown Elementary. There is a 30 day warning period for drivers who go 12 miles per hour over the speed limit. After that 30 day period, you'll get a ticket. Customers go live on Monday, operating from six in the morning until eight at night. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Thursday, everyone. On this Thursday, we are tracking some flooding concerns out there, but we will dry out nicely as we head more towards the afternoon evening time frame. And we're also tracking that weekend forecast, which is going to be a gem. But before that happens, we are quite breezy gusts today up to about 30 to 35 miles an hour. And uh, the showers and thunderstorms are moving through this morning. By the afternoon, we'll start to dry things out. Still a few clouds. We really won't clear things out until we head through the overnight into your Friday as high pressure builds in. For today, still watching for that severe weather outlook, so we could still be dealing with some isolated uh, thunderstorms that drop, uh, possibly a tornado out there, and also damaging winds. Uh, temperatures will continue to fall throughout the day, and it is going to be absolutely gorgeous, Christian, as we head into the weekend. Now, weather aware today, but look what's coming. Thanks, Lynette. And for news and weather while you're on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store. Don't forget, you can always follow us on social media as well at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.